Thanks for joining us again. I'm Paul with Stoneman Motorsports. People have literally been begging us for another review. We're here today with a 2013 Honda CB1100. Uh, it's powered by a fuel-injected four-cylinder. It's got a five-speed transmission, Yoshimura exhaust, and Pepco and Becker bags, and a uh, luggage rack as well. Awesome bike with uh, the CB throwback, kind of a shout out to the CB line styling. Uh, along with the retro styling, you get some of the uh, benefits of today's technology. So we'll do a quick walk around and uh, we'll go from We're going to start with the front forks. You can see there's a little bit of pitting in the chrome here and some discoloration on the rubber. And then we have the dust covers are showing some cracks around the top. They haven't been showing any kind of weeping or oil action coming around the fork. Also, you see down here on some of these bolts are showing a little bit of rust. Doesn't really inhibit the front braking action. As we come around here, see a light scuff to the case there. Could use a good deep cleaning and detail through here, uh, back in there. So we come around, pipes in good shape pegs are in good shape come up here and you can see the bags have a little bit of scuffing who knows that could have been just from the garage walls or something like that come around to the back and these bags are locking and quick detached so makes for an easy transition this one looks to be in pretty good shape no major scuffs or anything like that uh, if you come up here to the top of the seat show a little bit of sunburn there and then uh, some of them flaking on the grip here this side of the engine has got some light 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 action there come around here and the top of this fork's got a little bit of pitting as well um, brake levers are all in good shape mirrors are in good shape everything uh, lights up like it should, horn honks as it should, and all that fun stuff. So let's take it for a ride. Start her up. All right, here we go. Pull up to the line, look for some traffic. See what you'll do. Yeah, brakes work pretty good. All right, glad to have you guys back. We're finally on some back roads here. This is an incredibly comfortable bike. I mean, it's got more of like a uh, neutral riding position. Your feet are situated in like a standard control position, um, but you've got this monster seat and it is very very comfortable and the bike's pretty nimble i gotta i gotta say nimble with a bunch of power um i really really am enjoying the riding style on this um, what i have noticed a little bit of is this bike has yoshimura exhaust on it and uh it changes the the tune of the bike a little bit makes it sound better uh depending on who you are um, makes it look cooler, that's for sure, over the uh, stock exhaust. But uh, for this one, you're getting a little bit of popping when you come out of the acceleration. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but we're going to give it a shot once we turn onto this road here. Now, I've been going through the gears. Everything feels great and uh, good solid shifting. Nothing too finicky. And... Uh, yeah clutch feels good too let's see if you can hear the pop there it is and it's not like really really loud it's just a pop um but man this bike is really fun it handles these corners great pick our line
come back through here. Now in corners, I like to apply a little bit of back brake, you know, when it gets a little tight, but not too bad. Now I'm really getting the most out of all the gears here. I'm enjoying it because this, this riding position is really not going to fatigue you that bad. I mean, no more than just riding around. Now, if you're going to be cruising all the time and everything like that, horn works, then uh, you might want to put a windshield on it or something like that, but I'm kind of enjoying it, especially with it's like 90 degrees here and super humid. This bike, man, what a blast. And the throttle's right there. It's got good response and closes pretty good too. I think we made our, oh, turn signal. I think we made our way uh, all the way to fifth gear. Yeah, that's it right there. But man, back road bike right here. It's nice to get on a peppier bike that doesn't feel like you're like doing a push-up position the entire time. The bumps and stuff like that, the suspension seems to have uh, plenty of travel and it's it's not super stiff. So you're getting a very uh, smooth ride as well. But it doesn't really feel like you're sacrificing a lot of uh, you know riding performance with it. And it looks like the headlight works too. Yeah. Really, really enjoying this. My first time riding it too. We just put a new chain on it uh, and breaking it in. So it might need to get tightened once you purchase the bike. Uh, but yeah, other than that, she's solid. We, uh, we didn't get a chance to test ride it after the chain install. And uh, so far I am very, very pleased. I mean, just nimble. I don't. I don't feel like I'm really working at all to get around any of the potholes and stuff like that. Plenty of power to pass if you need to. This bike wouldn't be too hateful in the interstate. I think they top out at 110. At least there's a uh, limiter on it that makes the bike back down at 110. Um, but I don't really see myself hitting 110 today, so maybe one of you guys, after you buy it, could uh, post that video. The bags that are installed, they're like four or $500 bags, and uh, they're locking, quick detach, and uh, really, they're nice, and they act as another layer of protection to the bike, in case you do drop it in your driveway or something like that. We're shifting all the way down here. And uh, yeah, great riding bike. Doesn't hit, the punch the camera. Get on it. It's a great bike. Oh, we missed our opportunity. I should have stayed on it. Kind of a great day to ride a bike too. It's kind of cloudy if you see up there. And uh, it's been scorching hot here with like no break from the sun. But uh, we got it now, finally. Just uh, enjoying the shade just a touch. Although it looks like we're in for uh, a little bit of a hurricane action coming up soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Oh, look at this turn signal discipline i'm the worst the absolute worst but uh yeah thanks for tuning in and uh if you have any questions about the bike or how it performs and we didn't answer enough questions in the video 
give us a shout or email or whatever or uh, comment in the comment section below and uh, we'll do our best to address whatever we can. Um, look forward to meeting you. Our website is www.stonemanmotorsports.com and uh, we got all the cool Facebook and Instas and interweb uh, social media devices as they say. So give us a shout by any means necessary and we look forward to riding with you.